How beautiful are these images? Look at them. From the top to the bottom, the buggers, the sunset, the landscape, the human beings, images, different styles. Let me show you how you can also generate the same images or similar images, the images you want to use in your project, in your blog or any other project you may have in your mind. So let's get started with this tutorial. Now open any browser of your interest and then go to skillai.net slash catbud and hit enter. The name of the AI generator we're gonna use is called catbud. As you can see, it says one prompt, many models, infinite possibilities. Enter a prompt to generate 72 images from scratch. And generate images from dozens of models at once. An example is here, a boy holding chimp monks. Outputs from 15 plus models with one prompt. One prompt. So as you can see, this is what they have on their homepage. Now let's generate our images, our own images. Let's say um, a boy, a happy boy, a happy, sorry, a happy boy going to school in the city and hit enter when you hit or you can use your mouse and you click on run it now as you can see up here it says cut bird is experiencing unusual high volume we appreciate your patience so from what I've seen from all the tests I've done it, it is not fast you have to be patient as they say here so probably they are still testing their systems and servers i'm not sure but what i have seen and what i am a witness is that it can generate many pictures different models and most of them are beautiful all these are images of a boy going to school in the city yes we can see he is a boy but let's have some analysis on some of these pictures okay first of all let me explain what we see on the screen here on the screen we have different models and we have columns one two three four and each column has 18 pictures if you scroll down and you click see more you will get 18 pictures per column that means if you have 18 columns times 4 pictures okay 18 times 4 equals to 72 and on the first and then we have orange mix dreamlike diffusion 2.0 we have open journey version 4 we have open journey version 2 we have stable diffusion 1.2 we have timeless diffusion oh my god this is a boy yeah it looks nice it looks nice it's a boy and because of this bug we can imagine he's going to school look at this boy who has two bugs now let's see at this one uh-huh this one it's a zombie look at the face look at the hand look at this hand here it's like a zombie. <laughs>
okay you've got it you've got the idea how it works let's change the prompt let me say now um, a happy boy going to school in the countryside okay I'm back and let's see what we've got now so far we have a bunch of pictures if I click on C C6 more You can also click on C6 more. Look at this boy. The tips are not serious. Maybe mm, the face it could be it could be okay. Now look at this one. Mm, it was nice, but the problem is, is here the tips again look at now this one it's like a zombie look at this one <laughs> this is not a boy so this one the counterfeit version 2.5 probably he doesn't understand what I requested it is giving me a girl when I ask the boy the same with this one is this is a boy or a girl it seems a girl this is orange mix wow love this one <laughs> I love this one okay now say let's let's say you want to download it you click on this little thing here download and you will download it and open it it's here this is how simple is this tool let's change and let me paste some prompt here and hit run One thing I've learned from these tools is that you have to be clear in your prompt otherwise it will be confused let me ask for a young queen a young queen run it I love portrait plus styles i'm loving portrait plus style because it has big resolution compared to the others but also dream life dream like diffusion has also bigger resolution but analog doesn't have bigger resolution but we know there are other tools on the internet to upscale the resolution Where is Portrait Plus? Hmm, nice. Very nice. Let me see at the fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. One, two, three, four. It can make some mistakes too. Look at this person. He has three hands. Okay, guys, you've seen the idea of how to do these things it all depends on what you really want but the most important thing is to be sure to specify all the details you want to see in your picture because the AI generator if you, you are not specific it tries all his capabilities and it gives you everything let's use a chatbot to generate 
a good prompt let's go to skill ai dot net slash deep ai dash chat and hit enter now we, this is the home page of this ai this chat bot from deep ai company Describe a teenager girl sitting on her bed, surrounded by scattered pillows and blankets, holding a new book with a big smile on her face, the natural light pouring in through her okay. You can now check into your prompt and you look and you verify if everything you asked has been generated within these images is this is a teenager maybe how about this one So the tool is nice and the most importantly it is free to use it it is free to use it it is available for everybody from wherever you are in the world so have a look at yourself try and use it and um, enjoy thank you so much for watching the video I appreciate if you can like it and hit that subscribe button God bless you See you in another video.